Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Geeked Out Nation as we go ahead and take a look into the next episode of Abbott Elementary. This is season number one, episode number five, titled Student Transfer. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what this next episode is going to be about. Now, of course, we've all been to school. We know how it is, right? Um, during my high school years, uh, ninth grade through 12th, I actually went to three different high schools uh, during that period, and... Um, I know what it feels like. I, I know what it feels like to be the new kid. And I'm very curious to see how this episode is going to play out as far as like what's going to happen. You know, I, I, I know for sure as we watch this, I'm going to see some moments where I'm going to relate to it. Uh, and I can't wait to actually see what they decide to do here. Uh, in the last episode, it was really awesome to sit there and watch, you know, uh, the, the, the teachers were, you know, getting new technology. They ended up getting new tablets. It's a new program that was on the tablet to help hopefully these kids, uh, it's with everything. It's literally everything that was programmed into the tablet. It's just a new way of teaching. Um, it was really awesome to sit there and watch, but by the end of the episode, they end up returning the tablets, unfortunately, which kind of sucks, but that is what it is. You know, that's that's how it ended. But uh, yeah, so going into this next episode, I'm sure we all know what it's going to be about, ladies and gentlemen, so I can't wait to watch with you. Uh, if you are a fan of Abbott Elementary, what we do here, of course, in Geeked Out Nation, feel free to leave the like, comment, subscribe, and of course, also check us out on our Patreon if you guys want early and unedited episodes. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is Abbott Elementary. Here we go. Sweetheart, it was so good to see you, and have a great rest of your day. You too, Miss Howard. Guarantee you she don't remember his name. Bye. What's his name? See, Mrs. Howard, that is why we do this. Mobile young minds. Just... Hey, that's me, the other second grade teacher at Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> that bad. One of my reviews was so rude, the superintendent had to come check on me at home. Yeah, well, that's... Oh, hey, man, can you tell me where I can find the mailboxes? Oh, I'll show you. No, you can just tell me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of mail, can we talk USPS? Have you heard of informed delivery? What about roasting, also called uh, blazing, frying? Hmm. I'm sure Gregory is aware of that. Look, man, I'm from Baltimore. Okay, all I know is when somebody roasts you, you gotta roast them back. Mm -hmm. Our teachers used to roast us, and if they didn't, we wouldn't have respected them. You're just getting clowned. Um, okay, everyone who's not here, please be good. All right, I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. She'll be right back. Wait, what? Can she see? Can she hear you? Hey, girl. Into your class, really? Oh, okay. So it's not a new student. No, things happen all day. Maybe she was okay. too close to the bathroom. Maybe she liked you more. Maybe she got some kind of meat mail Drake feud going on with one of her classmates. <laughs> Maybe she likes me better. If you really want to know, you should read her file. Who's gonna be unprepared? I wonder how Melissa's doing. Hope she's not taking this too hard. Find out right now. <laughs> Melissa, Janine is on her way. You do know that that's coming out of all the speakers, not just a specific classroom, right? I said you're on your way. <laughs> Looking like Ron Weasley if he was a pickup artist. Oh. <laughs> it looks like he dreamed in podcasts. <laughs> well, to a little bow, yeah. <laughs> no way, those are accidentally falling off. Uh, that was pretty bad. Weekend, that really hurt my feelings. All an Iverson of teachers and. You're like that guy stepped over once. You mean oh. like to Ron Lou that yes, time? You know oh. My point is, maybe I'm not a bad teacher. Maybe you are. Miss Teague, okay. that's not what she was saying. Courtney. Oh no. I want you to go and be your wonderful self with Miss Teague. So have fun. <laughs> I love it when they look in the camera. It's so funny. Hey. Oh, look at you all. Yes. One nation. Under Courtney, in the middle, <laughs> we're Courtney and Courtney for all. Oh my goodness. Is smooth. Go, go, go. Her parents should transfer because I'd already caught on to all her little tricks. Mm. All right, Melissa. Okay. Nobody could have seen that macaroni thing coming. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not giving you a ride. I'm about to drop you as a file on Courtney Pierce. Yeah. I need it. That'd be like a I need it. Oh, are you having issues with Courtney? I wouldn't say she need help. Look at her with that I need help face. Okay, this is not <laughs> I need help face. It is an I have it under control face. And, situation, and I will not affect the outcome. Wait, hold oh, on. Oh, boy. You bet on me? Right. Oh, yeah. 
You guys are using my performance as a teacher for entertainment. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. You know what? I'm taking everybody's money. Let's go. Let's go, Ms. Teagues. <laughs> well, you do no good. I'm rooting for you, Ms. Teagues. Hey, how's it going? It's, yeah. It's... Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's she thinking? What you thinking, Courtney? Like, to a friend. <laughs> He's like, help me. You can't tell if it's playing or if it's trying to bite you. No. But at the same time, you don't want to. Courtney. This right, this is not a competition. Girl, it's all right. <laughs> I know you didn't pull me out of class just so you could brag. No. Right. Of course not. A little bit. <laughs> Courtney's teaching us a new word. Wait, what? What? Courtney. Look away, y'all. I went from having one teacher to two. Ain't that some Courtney? Courtney. Oh, Courtney, what the hell? In class now, so you two can throw your little tantrums together. I'm sorry. You deserve that. I believe that. Right. I agree. Cause she I'm didn't sorry. write the review. You're right. You're right. That review really, really hurt my feelings, and I took it out on you. It wasn't even that bad. It just said you were less experienced. Listen, That's it. If you That's go it. look at the Facebook reviews of my cousin Rocco's hoagie shop, you would think. Business. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have been a hooper, but basketball didn't exist looking bull. Seven years ago, bags all up under his eyes. <laughs> Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln, Mr. Hill. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. That's awesome. Yeah, I guess like thumbs up is kind of our thing now. <laughs> is it? Don't it's your guys' Courtney. thing? Yes. Courtney, call me stupid. No. Well, you think you know someone. <laughs> and then <laughs> He thought they had something. Thumbs up, looking ass boy. <laughs> you want to bump the puzzles, kid? Up? Fine. I guess technically Janine succeeded. She so now you lose it. You lose the bet. Guess you win the bet. Hmm. Barbara. She's so happy. Like she believed in me. <laughs> I learned that from Courtney. I thought Barbara got against <laughs> me, but she didn't. She actually thinks I'm a great teacher. She got my back. Maybe even better than... Oh, she's Quick. on the run! Go, go, go! Quick. How'd you get back in the building? <laughs> what? Delicious. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was our episode for today. Season number one, episode number five of Abbott Elementary. I was way off. I was way off. You know, reading uh, student transfer, I assumed that this was talking about a new student, a new student coming to the school. And um, I totally forgot. You could transfer out of classes, ladies and gentlemen. I totally forgot about that. It didn't even cross my mind when I read the title to this episode, but that's what this episode was. It was this young girl, a uh, young little student um, named Courtney who got transferred to Miss Teague's uh, room. And, you know, one of the things I've told you guys so far from this show, uh, we're only five episodes in, um, I really like Miss Teague's, man. I really do. I really like where her heart is. You know, I love that she thinks so much about you know, helping these students. And I love this scene here. And, and I'm bringing this up here because I love seeing how excited she was. You know, I love to see how excited uh, Miss Teagues is because we know how passionate she is uh, about teaching. But to see her get excited about this, even though this had nothing to do with her, it just shows what kind of heart she has, in my opinion. And it's in a right place. Uh, I love this so, so much. And She's really inspiring. She really is. This character, in my opinion, is a very inspiring teacher that I would love to be my teacher. Like, if I was back in, in what grade does she teach? Like, can I don't think kindergarten, right? I would say maybe first grade. I'm not even sure what teacher Miss Teagues is. I don't think she's a kindergarten teacher because the, the students look a bit older than kindergarten. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would have loved to have a teacher like Miss Teagues uh, teaching me when I was younger. Now, I want to talk about Miss Howard here um, very quickly. 
this doesn't bug me. This doesn't bo- bother me. This doesn't rub me the wrong way. Miss Howard put in her time, ladies and gentlemen. She's been here literally 30 years. She's seen so many students come and go. To me, this felt as realistic as it comes, to be honest with you. Like, maybe there's a teacher that's out there that could remember every student they've had. But to be teaching as long as she has and and to remember, you know, this kid here, no offense to him or anything like that. To me, it, it made sense that she doesn't remember him. It's, it's such a long time ago. And once again, she had so many students along the way that she can't remember everybody. So I, I, I knew from the moment that they were having this interaction, I'm like, she doesn't remember him, does she? It doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't. Um, It just shows what kind of teacher Miss Howard is. It, 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 what I mean by that is she's effective. She does her job extremely well. This guy is about... I'm going to say 25 and up probably uh, age wise. And for him to have that memory of Miss Howard and to come back here and have this conversation with her, that lets you know what kind of teacher Miss Howard is. And and that means she's fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I love both of these women. I really do. I think they're really aspiring characters. Um, and, and I do know that the actress who plays Miss Teague, she is the creator of the show. She written the show, I believe. And she did a great job, in my opinion, with creating these characters. Honestly, I feel like um, they're they're really amazing teachers, and I can't wait to keep watching to see what they decide to do next. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about Jacob and Gregory. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait to the moment these guys do actually become friends. I love the little interactions that these guys have with each other. Uh, whether it's sometimes some miscommunication, because sometimes it feels like that, you know, Jacob thinks one thing and then, then he's like way off, you know what I mean? So for example, he thought that the thumbs up was him and, and Gregory's thing. And then he got so hurt when he saw that Gregory, that's just what he does. You know what I mean? Um, I cannot wait till I see these two actually become friends because I think they will at one point. Uh, and I think that when they do become friends, their friendship is going to be amazing. I really do believe that. Um, Jacob was awesome in this episode. I really do want to sit there and say that uh, I do like seeing his character at least try. You know what I'm saying? To see him try. And and I loved how he adapted the roast. Uh, I don't want to sit there and say it's a game. I don't know if someone roasting you is literally considered a game or not but I really like that he took that and turned it into a lesson uh and and it was awesome it was a really good lesson that actually got the kids to interact and they actually looked like they were enjoying themselves uh which is why Gregory ended up giving him the thumbs up like yo you did it that's what you got to do and I agree and he did a pretty damn good job Oh, man, it was such a good episode all the way around, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really did enjoy this one a lot. Um, Let's go ahead and continue. Let's see what else we could talk about. I feel like I talked about all the major points. Uh, Melissa and Miss Teagues. I liked what I seen from them, too, okay? I like what I seen from them, too, and I totally agree with Melissa. I do think that... Uh, Miss Teagues was definitely thinking a little bit too much about the negative review. Uh, the negative review wasn't really that bad when you think about it. It, it just it just says that she had a lack of experience, and that kind of makes sense when you think about it. Miss Teagues is a new teacher. Um, Melissa calls her a rookie all the time. Now, how much of a rookie she is, I'm not too entirely sure. Uh, I'm not sure if this is her first year teaching. I'm not sure if this is her second year. But she looked like she's been here for a little bit of time. You know what I mean? But that's all it really was. They just said that she just looked like she lacks a little bit of experience. But that's kind of expected when you're kind of new to the field. You know what I'm saying? Um, Miss Howard is the, the teacher who has been here the longest, it wouldn't surprise me if Melissa is not that far from behind her. You know what I'm saying? Melissa put her time in, so it makes sense why... I mean, the, whoever did this Yelp review, right? I mean, they compared the two. They compared the two, but I mean... Oh, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, with these negative reviews. And and Gregory hit it on the money when, when he had the conversation with uh, Janine, uh, Miss Teagues, when he was like... Who cares? It's just one negative review, and and it's not even that bad when you think about it. Yeah, I agree. It, it's not, but that just shows what kind of person Miss Teagues is. You know, she she's the type of person who would love to prove 
whoever that negative person that wrote that comment wrong, you know, and, and that's, it, I, I admire her for that, you know, uh, it, it was a good episode, I really enjoyed this, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you guys did as well, so feel free, leave the like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, feel free, uh, comment in the comment section if there's anything you guys will like to mention, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Abbott Elementary, take care, you guys.